um, in this video I'm going to be doing a you know a quick guide to thicker healthier longer hair so my sister wanted me to do this video this is just a guide okay disclaimer 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 2015 oh uh, yeah man don't touch it uh. Uh. I am just throwing out tips and throwing out ideas, catch whatever it is you want to catch, throw away the rest, you know, that's that's all I'm trying to say. I sing, I sing, oh, sing. make you watch how I rise, oh, oh yeah. to the top, I will rise, oh, oh yeah. what a hater, what a hater. I feel the first thing you should do after you know evaluating is to trim your hair you know because you need to get rid of all of that you need to get rid of the split ends because if you hang on to all these raggedy ends you're not doing yourself any favors okay you know you need to just trim up all of that and start fresh you know get rid of the split ends whenever you see them because that's what I do all the time especially now that my hair is in single braids so what I basically do is I basically look at each braid and if I see split ends, I just pull out my scissors and I just start trimming. You know, that's basically what I do all the time. I don't have a set timetable of when I'm going to cut my hair. So I just look at my hair or, you know, when I run my fingers through my hair and if it feels rough or if they're not on the end, I also know, okay, this is time to cut my hair. Don't worry me, need no bends while you hit it. Wally hit it. Wally hit it. Watch how I rise from nothing to something. Back in 06 when nobody was watching. Top bar me nissing. Why say boy you were stunting? Real G Lomo, I swear it is nothing but hard work, dedication. Going through my education. Been a long time coming. Almost not preparation. Watch how I switch around some English to Yoruba. Mufe come up with bubble goons. Me ni mugbewa. In Koto Wallerini. Opa de Santa's backpack. Mukofe walking drop hits back to back. And another thing is to use silk and satin type materials for your scarves or for your pillowcases. Don't just put don't 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 just throw on a beanie or a hat or something, you know, that's basically gonna dry out your hair. Because basically what I do is I first put on my satin scarf and then I'll wear my beanies, you know. So I don't ever or rather I try not to just wear my beanies without having um, a satin scarf underneath. Cause, yeah, I'm not trying to dry my hair out any faster than it already dries out. Oh, better respect that. on me, boy, better respect that. Moon, she drink, but this is my aftermath. Yeah. Watch how I rise, oh, yeah. To the top, I will rise, oh, yeah. What a hater, what a hater. me, 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 what do you tell? And you know, the type of oils that you should be trying to use are oils that stimulate hair growth, you know, such as castor oil and you know, your essential oils like peppermint oil, tea tree oil, rosemary oil, those kind of oils. So just do a little research and see um, what it is you're trying to achieve. And there's certain, there's certain essential oils that work best for those things. And it's also good to like just do scalp massages. You could do that with the hot oil, you could do it with just, you know, room temperature oil, it doesn't matter. And, you know guys, you need to stay away from oils or products that leave your hair dry. You know your hair best, okay? So if you realize a certain product isn't working for you, cut it out, okay? Just cut it out. Give it to someone else who, whose hair would appreciate it, you know? Don't keep using products that you know is drying out your hair or you know it's breaking your hair or it's doing one thing or the other to your hair that isn't good just stop using it you know it's as simple as that like really guys um and for those who still use shampoo like myself um what i do to like minimize the stripping effect of shampoo is to dilute it with water and just an oil like olive oil avocado oil so just to like make it less um harsh on my hair so you can do things like that or you could use um, bentonite clay instead as your wash, as your shampoo. So there are many alternatives out there to regular shampoo. So just do whatever it is that, you, that works for you. 
you need to create a regimen that works for you, okay? It's pointless looking at other people's regimens and thinking that you're going to follow their regimen to the T because you want your hair to look like theirs. But the thing is, they made their regimen to suit their life, to suit their hair, to suit their needs. So, what I would suggest is that you guys create a regimen for yourself. Decide what it is that you can work with, you know. If you can only wash your hair once a month, then, you know, work around that. So, you need to figure out what products would work for your hair. Forget what people are saying. Even if it's a so-called, even if it's not a natural product, but you know it works for your hair, guys. Use that product, okay? Wally hate Wally rate flow. Badder than bad, Wally underrated. I'll only switch flows and still sound tighter. Lion no more M you she tiger. Mo bare lati sale and I'm aiming higher. To bury me in the street, mo my hale. To buy the phone vexy, mo my bone. I'm all about my money and I'm all about my stacks. I'm not trying to have beef with nobody. I did my own lean, I don't send anybody, man. See, make you watch how I rise. Oh hey, to the top, I won't rise. Oh, like it's not necessary to use heat if you want to have a stretched look there are many alternatives that are heatless methods that you could use to stretch out to stretch out your hair uh, and guys don't comb dry hair i mean when people say you know natural hair is painful to comb it's because you guys are using small combs and you comb in dry hair why would you comb dry hair and why would you use small combs? Because that makes no sense to me because you're just deliberately inflicting pain on yourself. So if anyone is to blame, guys, it's you. Really, it's just you. So what I would advise, which is common sense, is that you don't comb dry hair and you don't use small tooth combs. Try and just wet the hair with either some leave-in conditioner, some hair moisturizer, water, just, you know, damp it a little, dampen the hair a little bit and then use your fingers first, you know, and then go in with a wide tooth comb, you know, to detangle the rest. So, yeah. And when you comb your hair, try to comb from the ends to the roots slowly and carefully because, you know, natural hair is extremely curly and you can't just go in from the root and think you can just rake the comb right out. Like, you're gonna just break off all your hair, like me. And, you know, I'm sure it's also a very, very painful process because, you know, like, don't do that, guys, please. And gels, guys. I really don't know why people are using gels in their hair on a regular basis. Like, once in a while, I can understand, you know, you want to use some gel in your hair, whatever. But, for every style, Deciding to just gel down your hair to form a cast. Like, why would you do that? Because the cast that the gel forms makes your hair dry and more vulnerable. So any little thing could cause that hair to break off. So, guys, don't use gels, you know. And if you don't have baby hairs and all of that, just let it go. Let it go, guys. You don't need baby hairs in your life, you know. If you don't have it, it's clearly not necessary. So stop trying to create baby hairs that look nothing like baby hairs. So yeah guys, don't do it. Just stop, please. The other ways you can lay down your you know, your edges, you could just tie a scarf. Just, just tie a scarf, your hair will lay down. And you won't have that little that shiny <sighs> this thing of Twisting your hair today, untwisting it tomorrow, twisting it again at night, only to untwist it the following day. It's too much manipulation for your hair. It cannot take all of that. It's stressed, it's stressed out. And then it will break off because you're just, you just, your hands are in your hair too much, too often. And it's like your hair is not happy. And then it breaks off. And then you ask yourself, why isn't your hair growing? Well, that's because the hair type you have, you're not supposed to be manipulating it 
every day like that, you know. Try to keep hairstyles in for at least a week, you know. At least a week, guys. I'm sure you can go longer than a week with certain hairstyles. Don't worry me in no streets, what they hate it. Don't worry me in no bands, what they hate it. What they hate it. What they hate it. That's, that's pretty much it, you know. So, you are free to take this information, use it, don't use it, because, I mean, it's up to you. I'm just doing this for the benefit of whoever it is that would like, you know, to get their hair in a better condition. Because as for me, I'm doing pretty much all these things and my hair is growing, my hair is doing pretty well, you know, and yeah, my edges are intact, my hair is growing, I don't know about you. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! What up? Bad man, I see you.